Say your name or where you from? Uh, Wacky Joy, from the east side of Plainfield, New Jersey. You know, not no way type shit. And how did you get your name? Um, Wacky, that was a little nickname I had since I was younger. I ain't really, I used to damn like it, but you know, I had to kind of grow on me. My people said when I was little, I used to be making like funny faces. And um, Joy, you know, people, it's debatable, like he one of the greatest in the game. So I feel I'm one of the greatest in my craft. So that's just how that go, Wacky Joy. And what's it like in Plainfield for the people that don't know? Um, or where you from? I'm saying, you know, it's, it's, it's typical uh, urban area, you know what I'm trying to say. Ain't nothing really too wild or nothing. You know, you're going to experience, uh, you know, struggles and have fun and all that type of stuff. So it ain't nothing too crazy. How was your childhood growing up? Uh, my childhood was good, really. Um, you know, I played sports and shit like that. Went to school, regular shit. Um, I was just out here, you know, as a young age, just outside, around bikes, you know, normal childhood, shit like that. And what sports did you play? Uh, I used to like basketball a lot. I played football, like, slightly. It was like flag football on some shit. But um, I was playing basketball for a little bit, like, right, shit like that. I ain't never played high school. And what type of uh, student were you in high school? Uh, not for nothing. I used to be like an honorable, I mean, an um, honest class when I was in like middle school and shit. Once I got to high school, I was in high school for like ninth grade and then I started to get locked up. So a lot of my high school credits and shit I got, I was um, incarcerated. You feel me? But um, school wasn't nothing, never really hard. Like, I was all right. I was all right in school. And how would you say being, you know, locked up changed your mindset? Um, it just had you like. More so, how I can say, it, it teach you to not really play with nothing. You know, you start to cherish uh, the more important things in life. You know, like your freedom and being able to do a little shit like that. And, uh, you know, just not waste time. Be out here just doing anything. What is one, and what's one of the biggest lessons that you have learned? In life, um, just keep going. You feel me? It's going to be a lot of shit that you get faced with. A lot of tribulations and shit like that. Just keep going and pushing for it. Most definitely. Keep striving. So when did you start rapping and what inspired you to start rapping? Um, I was rapping as like ever since I was little, I used to, you know, just like music and shit like that. I started taking it serious, I say probably like sixteen. And um it was my people's, you feel me? Like the niggas that I was around and shit. Everybody, you know, smoke weed, get high. I used to be freestyling, but they like, yo, you can really do something with it. So um I just started to, you know, do it like that. And what year would you say you started rapping? I say officially I started rapping like 2018. Like that's when I really start making music, putting projects out, and uh, going through the courses, everything, like shows and shit. And who are some of the artists that you listen to growing up? Um, everybody. Like Lil Wayne, that's that's my nigga right now. I fuck with my son Polo G. That's my boy. But um, I listen to everybody. Like. I listen to um and then my dad he used to have me on a lot of like older music too, so my shit was well versed. Like Big Daddy Kane, you do Slick Rick, you know, Jay Z, um everybody. I used to like to listen to a variety of music. Most definitely. So now you making music, what type of artist would you say you are? Um, the type of artist I am is uh I feel like music now is like in two categories. Either it's people that spitting bars. Or it's like wave rappers, you feel me? Like not more so, they nice, you feel me? They just know what they do. I feel like I'm a mixture of both. Like I got the little wave with the music and um, I'm, uh, you know, still giving you lyrics. Shit that make you go rewind the song and, oh shit, he said, you know, shit like that. So what, what would you say your style is? Um, I'm saying though, cause I got, I do a variety of stuff. Like if you ever listen to my music, I'm never just really in one category. Like I do some gangster shit. I make sure I try to have a song for like the females. I do, uh, you know, just uh, how I be feeling. You feel me? Like I'm not a mono, nobody is monotonous as a person. So my music be all over the place. Just how my feelings and emotions be. You feel me? And how, how would you say you stand out as an artist? Um, um I'm able to, Paint the picture and like uh, I'm gonna put my eyes on everybody else's face if that makes sense. You know, like you get to really walk through my my way of life and see see life how I see it. I'm able to paint the picture, the descriptivity, and all that. 
So talk about your latest project. I know you just dropped um, something. Yeah, the latest shit I just did is Shadidi Savage. Um, it's a little project I had in the works for a little bit. Just um, like I said, uh, like a smorgasbord, all type of shit. It's stuff up there, you know, the gangster niggas, people that just want to hear bars. I got some, uh, you know, more so tender songs for the females, and it's just a good vibe, all around a good vibe. I put all of the homies on that project too. That's what I did. Who was some of the people on there? Um, my man's Henny B. That Henny Blanco, my fault. He a rapper that's from out here. I had True Stories on there. Um, and a lot of the homies from the hood, like Moolah, Yeezy, like, you know, people, my, my people that I be with. And what's your favorite song that you made on that song, on there? And what's the favorite song that the fans mm -hmm. like that's on there? My favorite song would probably be Majesty. And uh, one of the songs that the fans like is Flame On Me, F-O-M. That's like the second one or the first one, one of them. That shit, that shit been having stars around it for a little bit. It's on, you know, Apple Music, all that type of shit. How do you mean make music? Do you freestyle or do you write your music? Uh, nah, I like to always write. I gotta have, you know, I like to go into the studio and not waste time. So I write, I write a lot of my music. There you go. Who else makes music? Where are you from? I know, I know you named a few, but who else makes music from over uh, here? It's a lot of people that's from the East End that do their thing. Like uh, my boy So Eastside, uh, 6040Gs. He do his thing with this rap shit. Um, my man's Jug. You feel me? That's the homie. He been going hard with this shit, doing his thing. Uh, Richie, Richie J. Shout out to him. Um, it's a lot of people on the East End that be doing their thing. It's a lot of people at Plainfield really that's talented though. So it's, the list goes on. Like that shit goes on. And on and on and on and on and on. How would you say you market yourself as an artist? How I market myself is um, just authenticity, you feel me? This, like, what you see more so is what you get. So, um, I just try to keep everything as upfront as possible. And, uh, like I said, I just keep everything authentic and, and, and genuine. Give us a little bit about the grind as an independent artist. Um, the grind, a lot of the times, like how I said, my biggest life lesson is you just got to keep striving to keep going. Because, um, you know, with this music shit, it's a lot of times you just want to put it on the back burners and I want to do it. But um, my biggest grind and motivation is just that I know, you feel me, what this shit could come from. And still, it's like therapy to me. Like at the end of the day, I'm still a fan of music, I think, you feel me? So, like, I, I do music. It's like, you feel me, that shit, it helped me. You know what I'm and what new content do you have coming out? Um, you looking for Eternal Royalty? That shit coming out. I'm on everybody motherfucking feature. Like anybody that wanna fuck with me on the feature wave, I never be on no, you know, type bougie shit. Whoever hit me up, I, be, I got a lot of shit. My son Jug, uh, True Story, everybody. Like I said, you feel me? Like, uh, I'ma just keep doing shit. But the most, the, the 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 next thing we doing is Eternal Royalty, the mixtape. And when, do you have a date for that yet? Um, not right now. You know, for now, I'm just doing, um, I'm about to start doing the videos and everything for my project I just dropped. And, uh, you know, get anything like that bubbling. But everything is in the works, you feel me? I'm still in the lab right now. But there's no set day for it. What platform do you put your music on? It's everywhere. I put my music up through DistroKid. So it's on Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, um, iTunes. Uh, title and a whole bunch of other shits that I really can't think of at the moment. Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, all that type of stuff. My shit everywhere. You just gotta look up Wacky Jordan, W A K C Y. The K in front of the C, and then Jordan like the sneaker. Blow it up. Would you sign to a label if they came to you with an offer, or would you stay independent? Uh, at the moment, it it just depend on you know the numbers and the situation. If it feel right, it feel genuine, you know, then um. But as of now, you know, I'ma just rock independent and keep the grind and the buzz going. Yeah. That's How important do you think it is to use um, original beats instead of YouTube beats? Damn, that shit is 100% important, you feel me? That's the process that I'm in now, like, it's a lot of shit with the YouTube beats. A person might have it before, or it's just a lot that go with that shit. But having your own independent beats, that shit important as hell. Like, that's part of the recipe, you feel me? That's as important as the lyrics. Why do you think no one from Jersey has blew up yet? 
um, we don't got a sense of togetherness. Like other states and shit, like Atlanta, for example, like Georgia. It don't matter where you at, what side you from, what zone it is, you feel me? Like, niggas got that, 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 that genuine love for each other. They gonna push and support each other's music. Uh, anywhere else you go, you feel me? In Jersey, it's like, if nobody part of the situation or really next to you or know you firsthand, ain't gonna really be a lot of support. But that's probably like the only reason, you feel me? I personally feel like that. Like with Jersey, it seems like whoever can get on first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, you know how it goes, it's, uh, it, it's sad, but yeah, it's not a lot of uh, camaraderie. That's the word I'm looking for, you feel me? New Jersey don't got a lot of camaraderie. That's what we lacking. But if you do have that shit, that'll, uh, you know, turn everything up. Put the spotlight back on everybody. What artists do you wish to collab with in the future? Like, um, like I said, I'm not bougie. Whoever, like, I, I, I appreciate people that appreciate my music. Anybody that want to reach out to me, I do features with. On some like famous, I fuck with my son Cap a lot. Like I said, like that's my boy. I definitely, but um, yeah, like I said, you know, I'm uh, however it go, you know, whoever want willing to reach out to me and if it happens, you know, but um, for the most part, I just be doing my thing. What's up? Who your top five artists in Jersey right now that you rocking with? Um. Yeah, not cool myself, who from Jersey, that's really nice. I like Naya G, she from Camden, you heard? She be snapping, my son Henny Blanco, true. Uh, two more people, how we can do it? Arsenal be doing this thing, and I like Shoe Surf, you feel me, we gonna end it like that. So for this year, what plans do you have to take your career to the next level? Just keep running, you know, 100 miles. 100 miles ahead, like I said, we doing the videos, the promotion and shit. It's still COVID out here, but they, they, they opening a lot more shit, so I'm trying as much shows that I can get in and, you know, just get my face out there, you know, but definitely. What is one message you would give to your fans? Stay true to yourself, remain humble, and trust the process. You know, whatever process that it is, whatever plan that it is you got going on, trust the process. There's going to be days where it feel like, you know, it ain't going to be all there, but... The, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel more so, you feel me? Well, definitely. Just trust the process.